One. Don't know why I kept getting. I don't know either. Now that's part of the recording. <laughs> Do you want to start over? <laughs> oh, my God, I don't care. Hey, I... this is good. <laughs> <laughs> We're professional. Oh, I'm a professional Steejo though. I mean, dude, uh, whoa. I know, so, I'm having a day of it, man. I'm we, a day of it. We, we always count the same way, and you counted differently. And then you man, didn't do I, your intro, you're just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, I don't know why I counted to zero. Like, uh, nice, nice. I'm just gonna mine this rock. Right? Okay. This, this <laughs> <We're>... <laughs> and mine it. Let's go back to you the beginning what it was? of the game. I was counting down, but I was also trying to, at the same time, zoom in so that I could get like a nice shot to start the game off. And yeah. uh, my brain just like, I can only do one thing. I'm a man, I can only do one thing at a time, leave me alone. Yeah, how'd that work out for you? <laughs> Not well. <laughs> Not well. Oh, uh, man. Why do I have ungooped quantum or uh, De deuteron fuel rods? What's going on with that? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we had PPs. I'm gonna just delete them, they're bad. <laughs> they're stupid, go away. So I remember and I um, just spent like half an hour having an argument about traffic monitors. Yes. I still think I'm right, but yeah, yeah. But I don't. I don't want to have another half an hour argument about them. I, I I still think that I'm right too, and and I don't agree with you. So, but that's okay. I uh, the argument is that <laughs> I'm right and he's wrong, and that's all I'm gonna say about it. <laughs> <laughs> um. I'm gonna change the way that I look. I'm gonna get a, a makeover. Oh, I tried pretty. to do that, but it just wasn't fun. No, why not? How do you play this game? No, really. Like, how, how do you how do you uh, how do you play it? Um. <laughs> I just see you standing still. Are you you're currently trying to do the the? I'm trying to make some space in my inventory because I gotta pick some some stuff up to do this. Uh -oh. so. I tried to do it and it was just like, yeah, I. Okay, let me. Let me I'll go into armor customization so I can tell you. No, what, I'm gonna but... do it. I'm gonna do it, and then you're gonna be like, "Wow, that's really cool. I want to do that." That's what it's, that's what's gonna happen. So anyway, uh, we remove the <laughs> mod that makes it so that we don't have to have uh, words. We remove the mod Foundation Mask, which uh, means we can actually use Foundation a little bit more organizationally instead of just to flatten the planet. And I think that's going to help. At least it'll help me, maybe, a little bit. That'll be neat. I wonder if there's a way to get... Yeah, what, what Rumus says about the blueprints. Um... Yeah, the the thing that I didn't like about the mecha customization is probably one of the things that like really creative people do like. And that's that in order to customize your mecha, you literally have to like, you know, scroll in on his crotch and place like a single panel and then you change the panel a bit and You don't you like know, and... scrolling in on his crotch? What <laughs> why not? And it's like oh. it's like, alright, cool. I need to like Okay, let's let's select this little piece here, and we'll we'll edit that block, and I'll change the I'll change it so it's a freaking uh, an emissive blue color, and then I'll I'll stretch it out a bit so that it's like slightly bigger, and I'll change this plane here, and I'll put an extra little diagonally bit on it, and it's like okay, that's cool, but ain't nobody actually got time for that. Like, I, I was hoping that it would just be like a character customization thing where they were like, okay, here's a part, you can slap that on. Here's another part, you can slap that on. Mm hmm Or even like a bigger library of pre-made ones that I could choose between. I, I'm not going to do the zoom in on the crotch thing. I'm just going to do the thing where I, I take the the one that they made. Yeah, and, I thought uh, so. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not that, that kind of creative. So, and I looked at the ones that they made, and I'm like, "These are really lame." Oh, can you're, I? You're really lame. Oh. You just made fun of the thing that I'm like putting effort into changing to. I, I, don't, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I 
We appear to have not enough titanium ingot production. Also, I think that we need to stop putting, ten, like, leaving things uncapped at 10,000. We just have too much going into some of the chests, like... Yeah, I know, if you have enough overall production, it's gonna work itself out, but, like, it... It kinda... Messes with the way that... Like, every tower doesn't need to have 10,000 stuff in it. Kinda, kinda it kind of excessive. <laughs> you think it does? Okay. I think it does. Fair enough. Whatever, whatever. Armor weight. I've done it. I look different now. Woo wee! Ooh. I'm shiny. I have wings. You don't have wings. Wanna see my wings? I'm gonna look I'm Ooh. coming to show off the wings. Oh, they, oh, they actually re, they actually retract and stuff. Or they can, I think, somehow. Look, you jump up and then look, wings. You got wings. You don't have wings. Look at me. No. Look up. No, I'm 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 editing my, my dude. No, look at my wings. Dejo. I don't like how well. I'm gonna jump on you. The teabag you. <laughs> I'm white now. Neat. I wonder how you make the wings actually retract. That's kinda cool. I wanna like maybe mess with it more now. Custom parts. There default you go. parts. There you go. I've uh, I've I've changed my character. <laughs> you look ridiculous. You don't, you don't have a head. <laughs> did you how did you do that? You just like removed parts? <laughs> I removed everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's the basic frame. Yeah. For some reason that makes me think of the, the bot from uh the droid from uh, the new Star Wars show, what's it called? Mandalorian? I've never you, seen you, that. You're like the assassin droid. Exactly. <laughs> just, he looks just like that. <laughs> you don't have a head. <laughs> I, would, I would like a head, but... <laughs> <laughs> you don't get one. But look at my wings. Dude, wings. They they retract. Look at that. It's cool. Wings. What? No wings. You... Wings? You see him? Oh, that is cool, yeah. You well, look you're even flying. lamer while you're flying. That's cool. Oh, you shut up. <laughs> <laughs> look, you look, look at my wings. <laughs> yeah, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> my booty hole. <laughs> this is so much better. Is it? Is it though? I think it is actually. I wonder if you could like put your head in your crotch. Like, could you put a head, wanna... like a head template down underneath you? Make it see like walk oh. upside down. That'd be neat. Anyway. Anyway, um... Hey, how do you play this game? I don't know. I mean, I don't even know how to get my head back. You're asking how you play the game? Do we not make a... Uh, do, do we never sort out miniature particle collider? Miniature particle collider production in this. This thing we did not. I don't think we did. Yeah, there's nothing being made. Oh, uh, so yeah, since last time he, Seizure and I recorded, I also did kind of accidentally play the game a bit on my own and uh, made some blueprints off camera. So... One of them is, um, this. I need to go find you again. You put it like right in your face. Head. You don't like having a head? You, that's not true. No, I know what's <laughs> going on. You can't figure out how to make a head back, so you're trying to pretend. You're trying to convince yourself that you don't like the head. <laughs> so no, I don't, but it doesn't, it doesn't like the, the, um, <laughs> the design doesn't suit. And unless I start, like, building onto it to make it look like a skeleton. Oh my god. 
So I started like in my solo play, I was trying to figure out like what these things are good for because <laughs> I, they were new to me and uh, I haven't really ever used them much. I use them a little bit in our playthrough, but not a lot. And uh, I found that you can do this and then they're kind of useful because they can help you spread out stuff and then get rece you receive stuff everywhere on the planet. You left. No, you didn't. I can't see you. You're invisible because you're just a stupid little stick figure. <laughs> and your arms are so much skinnier than your legs. It looks like you never go out and you don't go to the gym and do arm day, you just do leg day. Nothing but leg day. Uh -huh. Look at those chunky knees. You have some massive knees. <laughs> oh my god, like... I'm, I'm sorry. The, the actual... Oh, the actual creation part of this is just insane. Like, what you can do on this? Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool. This is a this is a game about making things and I, yeah, I just all I care about is that I had a template. It costs like seven thousand titanium ingot to, to apply and, and that's it's fine. Now I have it, now I'm not gonna look at it ever again. I've got wings, so I'm happy with my wings. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna... Okay, to, to save to save anyone actually having to watch me figure this out... I'm... Wait, what? No, I need 41 iron plate! To make a head? Nice. That's bullshit. This, uh, this game is pretty. Very pretty. <laughs> is it still running running well for you, or is it running poorly? Uh, about 30 FPS, so... 4K. Listen, I'll be off this planet in a second, don't like this planet. Okay, well, make your own planet. Make your own new planet with blackjack and hookers. Hmm. Transfer all items from inventory. I need to apply. There we go. There, I've got a head. Come see. Uh, I don't really care if you have a head. It wow. doesn't matter to me. Wow. I, th I actually thought you looked better without a head. Oh, yeah, you placed one of your shits. It's not a shit. It's a, it's a distribution hub. There's no way. There's no way I just used 3,000 foundation. Holy crap. The amount of foundation you need <laughs> compared to with the foundation mask mod is outrageous. Holy crap. Did you explain distribution hub? Uh, so, here. Yeah, well, I was gonna, and then you left, <laughs> so... I didn't leave! <laughs> well, I, could, I couldn't see you because you're stick figure! And you were distracted and not paying attention. So, so what it is, like, remember... A while back, I was saying, maybe we're supposed to use these things, like, ring the planet... Look at my head! Look at it! Did you give yourself, like, a scarecrow head? Oh, no, that looks kinda neat. It... It floats. It, it yeah, floats a little, which is strange, but... So, like, yeah, they, um... They're all set to request from other distributors. So, like you have like the place that makes the thing, and then they it'll spread them out. Like and then, and then these can all interact with us wherever we are, and like you can configure like the ten different items that you want, and not just rely on uh, having to go to the mall. It'll just you know bring it to you from wherever you are on the planet. I don't know. It's kind of neat. Work in progress. If you don't like it? Just delete it. I mean, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> What the fuck happened to all my inventory items? They're all oh, inside your okay. mech. Like, they... You and the armor customization thing. Yeah. Which That's is actually... Weird. Which I, I think I just realized you could abuse this and, and treat it like, uh... Unless you can't un... Inventory, yeah. Can you take them back out again? E oh no, cannot, cannot take, take back. back. Oh, all right, okay. so, never mind. Okay, well I'm glad I pushed that big button that says transfer all items to inventory without it telling me that I can't fucking take it back. <laughs> There's yeah. not a lot of a lot of items in there. Well, there's like you should, eight, you should there's, have, there's 800 titanium alloy. <laughs> you should have known better. It's your fault. <laughs> yeah, apparently so. Oh, well, at least my inventory's clean. Yeah, it's one way to clean it up. All right, I'm gonna automate 
Why am I yawning? Oh my god. Well, I'm going to automate the production of miniature product colliders because we need more of those. You need to find titanium alloy and stuff. How's the game lagging? Are you foundation? I'm um, deleting, yeah. You're deleting? Legal. Okay, done. It's a lot of deleting. Um, yeah, it was your f stupid poop you that you done. You didn't like it, huh? <laughs> well, no, I like it. It's just I didn't like when it was. <laughs> oh, I know. That's why I put it there. Yeah, I put I it there imagine. to force. I put it there to force you to interact with it to like make you have to pay attention to it. That was intentional. I actually, I actually love my new character. To be fair. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad for you. <laughs> oh, fucking skeleton man. <laughs> Yeah, I think you look cool. It's nice. Okay, I'm going to decide what I'm doing next. So, we need hydrogen, which is uh, clearly demarcated by the fact that I say so. <laughs> yeah, we do. I agree. Um, um, so for hydrogen, we need more orbital collectors. Yeah, those are automated, though. So you just got to go to the gas giant and tap them. Oh, you automated them? Pretty sure. Yeah, I've got uh, 28 on me, and I definitely didn't craft them all, so I just request them. They're somewhere. I don't know where. Everything's disorganized, but you know, it's fine. This is fine. This is fine. I agree. Uh, okay. Miniature oh, particle lighter. Miniature. But like 50 of these. And let's see if they, they come and drop them off. Yeah, I thought we were having issues with, uh, rockets. We're having a lot of issues, I think. I love my little creepy skeleton, oh my god. Just the way it, like, moves. Just... Work of art. Yeah, because the rockets that I was making were... Um, they were just getting offshooted from something else. Okay. Uh, 60 seconds, target flow, item filter. I feel like I may have already done this, but I can't find where I'd done it, so I'm just doing it again. Frame. We'll need... Magnets and graphene. And... Why is that not oh, passing? Oh, CSRs. Oh, to be greater than zero. Why is that? Do we want to, at some point, get used to having everything set to 100% uh, load on drones, or...? Um, yes, I think so. You require, like, change it over the whole base. I'm so confused. Like, why is this one not working? These fucking cargo monitors are, uh, are traffic monitors. What about them? They're, they're fucky. Oh. No, that's better. Yeah, for some reason it just wasn't deciding if it wanted to be a... Uh, Pass or a fail. Oh, maybe it just didn't have 60 seconds worth. Yeah, that's usually that's the show thing. Why. Mm, okay. Uh, items I want that. Fail and pass cargo.
Okay, if it's not more than 180 every minute, then I want an alert. Because that'll tell us that there's an issue. So yeah, we're going to start using those apparently. Yeah? Yes, no? I'll try them out. Yeah, I'll try them out. All right, um... I want 180 cargoes every 60 seconds. It's currently do got 36 cargoes a minute, and it's... Passing? This is why we haven't used these, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Is that, uh, we don't really understand them. <laughs> it's, you know, they're just confusing. A little bit. Yeah, the quantity of cargoes to pass. Yeah, I wanted 100, 120 of them to pass in a minute. You set it to 120? I I had my, my greater than sign the wrong way around. Well, don't do that. Why are we not get? Why are we not getting an alert now? Just do it right. Okay, I'll leave that until it pings me an alert. Maybe, maybe after a minute it'll ping me an alert. I need glass now. All right. So the only issue here is there's just not enough uh, uh, magnets coming in. Because, for example, we have a station on this planet that's got 10,000 of them in it, which is silly. What kind of fool did this? And I mean, that's just to, a buffer, though. Down? Like, surely it just means that our production is bad if we're not getting... It is, but, like, the, the, the amount doesn't need to be that, that high. It's just a ridiculously high, high amount. Well, you're adding extra clicks into things. I'm trying to make blueprints that are going to stand the test of time and be good in the future. That's what I'm trying to do now. All right, I have automated the production of particle colliders, I believe. Unless I have not. I have. They're not gooped, but I don't really care. I don't have goop available here because I, I don't. So, I want to fail and pass cargo. Okay, but if I have that here, and instead of that, I want it to be electric motors. How does that work? Because technically make... that's less that's passing through it. I'm showing an alert for titanium alloy. Is that what you're messing on? Yeah, yeah we actually need titanium alloy. <laughs> so have the, doesn't that mean that you made it work? What, what are you whining about? Yeah, so I'm actually checking like a belt that's stationary. Mm -hmm. Like I'm checking to see if that passes or fails. So the, dis the disagreement that he and I were having earlier was on whether it's better to measure the output product or the input product. And I think there's arguments for both. I think that it's less work and fewer entities to, to measure the output product, but he wants it to be the input product because then it's more immediate. Like, I don't know. Then I know what needs fixing. Yeah. I can see hydrogen needs fixing. Can you? Can you though? Mm -hmm. Can. I don't know about that. Popped up, says hydrogen needs fixing. But I'm setting them to 120 cargos per minute. So there's at least like a baseline so you know when it's fluctuating as opposed to when it's just not working. Okay. You can configure the actual flow rate target for the alert. Yep. That's neat. Uh, 
All right, I almost have all of the mini miniature particle collider production done. They're in the queue out. That's interesting because this max is out at like 600 cargos per minute. I'm assuming that's when it's got a full belt is 600 cargos per minute and then it, um, Interest. Why does it say fail and pass cargo? Why is that? Yeah, so you see that alert's given us for motors right now. We don't actually need motors, it's just that the... Um... Yeah, there's a problem with motors. No, the, the belt's backed up, so I've not... Uh... The belt being backed up is not a problem, though. Yeah, exactly. I've not set it up right. Well, then don't do that. Set it up right. <laughs> Why would you set it up wrong? This seems silly. No match distributor. How come we don't have that automated? Oh my gosh. See, why does fail and pass cargo doesn't... Or do I need to click that fail and pass cargo and then let it set for 60 seconds? Should be, yeah. I think so. Because that was what we tested and it worked fine. What are you letting in there? I'm cleaning. We got some junk to fix. Okay, so we need titanium alloy. So where is titanium alloy? Probably nowhere. I don't think we have any. No, I'm sure you definitely set up titanium alloy production. Maybe. At some point. I do I wish your production was a lot neater to actually find though. Yeah, that's, that's part of the reason why I'm cleaning. Uh, right, okay. I'm gonna get rid of some of the chaos. Yeah, I, I was using a very just get it done approach, you know, mm. and, uh, yeah. I think I'm just going to make some more titanium alloy. Oh. My, um, my alert disappeared. So there's no problem. Everything's fine. Hopefully that means it's working. Really? Now I need to wait on the titanium alloy alert popping back up so that I can go and check on it, because I can't remember where it was. Oh my god, it's just it's so, like, stuttery when you're zoomed out looking at the entire planet. No, it's it's still not right. It's just not. You guess I'm doing it wrong. It's just not given an alert <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Even though it's set to alert, it's just not. Oh, okay. These things are just fucky. All right, I'll, I'll come take a look. It's clearly. Oh, clearly... I just deleted them. Oh, I wanted to come make fun of you. I could have solved it just like that. It would have been so easy. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll place it back down. Oh, now, so I, I just turned around. I'm gonna turn this bus around right now. Gosh, <laughs> it's DJO. DJO. 60, 120. 
titanium fill and plus cargo with titanium. Target flow rate 120. Condition greater than Didn't we didn't we talk about this? Shouldn't it be failing no cargo? Not failing pass? I thought No, I thought it was failing pass cargo. No, that's what I thought it was at first, then it was wrong. It's failing no cargo. So this one should be filling no cargo. I think so. Okay. But yeah, so like that alert is set. The alarm uh -huh. icon is there, but there's no actual alert. Well, there's no problem, right? Because it's passing. It's got 234 cargos uh, per minute and you want 120 and therefore it's correct. Everything's uh, fine. It wasn't It wasn't passing though. But look, click on either of them. They both say yeah, top now, right now corner. It's, now it's passing. Right here. There you go. Right. It's failing. Oh, fucking hell. And there the fucking alarms popped up. I told you I could fix it in three seconds. See? Stupid Steejo. <laughs> What's the problem? It's working just fine, right? Exactly as you want it? <laughs> okay, so now... I'm so fucking confused. I flew away from here. It was failing. There was no alert. You'll see it. You'll see it when you, when you see the... Which alert are you wanting? Which alert are you expecting should be on and isn't isn't on right now? No, it's, it's working now. Yes. The, and, we're not, and we're not getting the alert for the there. motors because that's not because there's not enough cargo. It's because there's there's stuff on the belt, which is how it should be, right? Yes. So it's working well, for now, but so the only the only way motors would turn on is if if that happens. And now it's on because there's no there's no cargo movement. Yeah, yeah perfect. But you connect it and then. There's, I don't understand what you don't understand. <laughs> so, do we even need to set... Surely just no cargo is fine. Because that means that there's like... The belts are empty. No? I think that if you did just no cargo, then it would be on off on off anytime there's like a non-full belt passing through. We don't want it to spam us with little, you know, alerts every every time the belt's not full. But does fail and no cargo not do that anyway? Because it's fail and no... Oh, or does it... I don't know. Oh, uh, okay. I, well, no, no, no. It, I think it, it works. needs to fail and there be no cargo. Yeah. Yeah, fine. I think it works, and, and we just need to not think about it so much, and... Uh... Okay. But I do need more titanium. So where where is titanium? Titanium plate or titanium uh, alloy? Alloy. Uh, that, I don't know, but... I, I'm tempted to not throw down blueprints from my old set because I don't like them as much. Oh, I wanted to show you this thing that I made. So you had come to the conclusion that that uh, tower should be like 23 distance between each other. Yes. And I came to the same conclusion independently. Um, <laughs> no, for real. I'm not. I'm not joking. <laughs> I, I made this, right. which I know you're you're gonna be unhappy with where I place it, but I'm at you're at the tropic line, so you know. So I made this as like my testing thing. And I was trying to figure out like how many sections I could put within the grid, within the footprint. And I really liked having this because I made it like it's just so clear mm -hmm. where else you can Why can it not go there? Close to another station. That shouldn't be true. That must be because of the Tropic Line issue. Um, it just made it really easy to like figure out how close everything should be to each other. And I don't know. I agree. I concur. And then, and then, oh, I didn't show anyone. This is something I told Cedro about, but I, I made this, this uh, skinny smelting thing that goes in both directions, and uh, then I also came to the conclusion that I don't actually like it. <laughs> stupid tropic lines. There we go. 
That's just like yellow belt size, but then... Ah, uh, yes, this thing with the fucking... These yeah, the, ridiculous the, the belts. Crazy, the crazy belts, yeah. That aren't actually necessary because I realize that you don't actually need these chargers at all. Because if I tessellate this and those chargers don't exist, it would look like this is not pacing very well because of being on this tropic line instead of being in the center of the planet. Mm -hmm. But if I delete the ones that are in the inside, oh, well, that, that's better. And instead have them be on the edges, then they can still tessellate just fine. So I, I don't need to meet, make these crazy ass belts. I could have just made them straight, which would probably make Stejo happy. Most likely. Yes, because that's ridiculous. I think it's hilarious. That's part of the reason how, I did it. Like, I, don't even, I don't even know how you done that. I used diagonal belts. Oh, and it just it just wanted to do that? Well, I had to find the exact right spot where it would work. <laughs> of course. Which was a little bit wonky. But yeah, it could just look like that, like straight. And it would still be fine. And then if I put the charging things on the ends instead... And then it could be like Why do you need to charge in things anyway? You really don't, but it's more of like an early game thing. So I figure if you're placing down um you need it for two reasons. One is so that you have connectivity to other power sources, because these have the longer range versus regular poles. And then also in the early game when you're placing yellow belt setups, you like you don't have deuterium fuel rods, so mm. having places to go repower is good. Which is also why the little blueprints that I made for distributing stuff has them. So that yeah. you can like go stand in the center of the distribution area. Anyway, I'm deleting stuff, sorry. That's alright. Cool. So, I don't know. Um, well, yeah, there's I'm another error. <laughs> Must have been something that you placed. The station, probably. Yeah, I'm deleting the stations that I just showed. Planet transport, remove station component, yeah. Stop making errors. Errors are bad. You're not supposed to do that. Errors are bad, okay. True. Anyway, oh, um true, bestie. What did you want? You wanted you wanted more stuff. I I wanted to know where Titanium Alloy was. Well I can add a thing for titanium alloy, but I'm not sure that this passes my my newfound required conditions to be pretty. I'll try to place it. I don't think there's enough space here. What is titanium alloy? Is it just like a straight smelt thing, or do we need something funny? It's a slightly upgraded version of titanium. It's like steel from iron. So you. Oh, but you you need titanium, steel, and sulfuric acid for it. Yeah, you mix some other crap into it, basically. Um, okay. So do you have a twenty-three width, or am I going to have to build one? I have a skinnier than 23 width, but let me check. I might have a, uh, might have a fatter version. I believe this looks like a 23 width. I am heading there's, to Uranus. There's no good place to like, we're like running out of space to build cleanly within the tropic lines. I'm just going to put this right in the middle of this upper. Tropic line, which I don't really like, but DJ wants it, so more of it. Just move further around the um the equator. No, no, I'm standing here, so this is where I've got to build it. <laughs> 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 All right, looks like this yeah, is a so. this is a fatty. Yep, this is a twenty three. Something something broke. Nope. No, it didn't. The screen. Hmm. I wonder what that is. Apparently, your game doesn't like my blueprints at all anymore. Like every time I place a blueprint, you you get an error. That's yeah, it's, um, logistics buildings. Well, if you want to come, here's the thing. Oh, I was you know I was flying to Uranus, and I think I wanted to fly Saturn. I wonder if it's because some of these blueprints have uh, space warpers as a requester, and then they also we also have the mod that automatically put space warpers at the bottom of each station, so it's got both entities in it. It's got two, the two of the same entity in it. Maybe that's, that's what's giving you errors. Was it not Saturn that we were mining? Ju Jupiter, I thought. 
Oh, now I'm getting an error. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm getting the uh, the 60 errors per second error. That's not a good error. No. We did update the Nebula network mod. I wonder if that's like the only updated mod we've had. That and we removed the foundation mask mod, but I don't see how that would cause problems. No, I wouldn't see how removing the foundation mask would. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing. I'm getting hitching. I'm, I'm doing what you asked. I'm placing down a titanium alloy smelting setup. Once again, they're wanting to give me a ton of space warpers. I, I don't understand where these all come from. Remote teleport multifunction component upper limit. What the fuck is that? No clue. I'll put it in no all of it. Well, this will be interesting to see how many errors I can collect. I'm up to 2,000. I'm at Jupiter? Oh my god, but I can't... I t can't place them? Thanks, They're a pain in the ass. I'm gonna, because... I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna reconnect because Jupiter is being funky. Okay, do you want me to pause for a second at all and we can maybe re reload and rehost the game or... If yeah, get... if you want. Yeah, we can do that. Right. See right. if we can get what rid of it? these errors for you. Alright, 3, 2, 1. Wait, wait, you do a Steejo countdown. Go, go. <laughs> I've already paused. <laughs> there we go. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just I wanted to know if you were able to count us in or not, or if you were going to have problems. <laughs> I mean, it's evidence. Evidence has shown that you can't count us in as well as before. Apparently so, yeah. Oh. Remote teleport multifunction. Are you crashing again? No bugs. No, no, I'm fine. Well, that, what? That sounds like an error. No, no, it's the the when you go onto your core, the remote teleport multifunction component up, component upper limit. Oh That's yeah, I, was like, what the, I have what I have that? no idea what that is. I have no idea at all what that is. It's just there. What do you have yours set to? Mine's set to a thousand. I yeah, uh, it's now set to no limit. Wow. What is that? Wow. What is that gonna do? You have no, you have no clue. No idea, but I don't, I don't want, to, I don't want it limited. Whatever One thing it is. I know, I don't want it limited. <laughs> Whatever it is, don't limit it. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, if we got, oh no, that's just where where I made it blue. I was like, if we got a full fucking line of the Dyson sphere, but no, not yet. We're good now, though. It's looking better. Is it? Yeah, it's yeah. filling. It's filling in. How many are needed still? Where do we see a number? Forget. Uh, you gotta click on the anchor structure. Constructed 2,700 out of 5,000. So that one's like half done. We're about halfway in our current frame. So still not very fast. But I did notice uh, we've got plenty of carrier what? rockets. Well, not plenty, but we've got a thousand carrier rockets that haven't been used. Yeah, one of the frames is like full. Oh wait, or is that just that structure point? Oh, it's just that structure point. Okay, no mind. Don't shake. Yeah, they, they all seem to be about halfway done. Which is cool. I had to uh, I had to slow boat it to Jupiter because I didn't have enough fuel to warp. Not fuel, but I didn't have enough uh, energy. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, I skim, skim the edge, Jupiter. There we go. Oh, that doesn't look right. I done goofed. Bad, bad blueprint. Do I want to know? I'm just trying to increase the amount of rockets we launch, and I just wasn't paying attention. I misplaced it. Did you place ten more titanium? I did. Titanium alloy? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Still getting the error. Uh, well, I didn't put up any traffic monitors on it, so perhaps I... I mean, perhaps I think that there's a shortage with something. Okay, right, now... <clears throat> Did you say that you can't, uh, you can't blueprint these... Uh, orbital collectors? You can, but you have to use the blueprint tweaks mod. That's a vanilla thing that you can't do blueprints on gas giants, which is really annoying. Because there's only one place you can build, and there's only one building you can build, so the fact that you can't blueprint it is just kind of dumb. But the Blueprints Tweak mod was the one causing some issues for us in the first, like, ten episodes. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta fly around and place them all manually. Once every, like, four? Like, 20, 20 tiles, I think? As close as they can be. Just flying and clicking. Yep. Jeez, I thought we had more than... More than that, but let me just—I just got an achievement for building ten orbital collectors. I need to set up a macro for just auto clicking so that I don't need to do this. So I don't need to click my mouse. I'm wearing out my, my valuable left mouse button here. Yep, that's what auto clickers are good for. I um I'm noticing that I, I I swear I automated the production of vertical launch silo, and uh, apparently I did not. I feel like I've done done. I, mean, I guess maybe it was in that single player thing I did. Whoopsie. Probably why it's in my mind. It's like I know I did this, but. But then I didn't. Okay. Can't, can't place them on sale. Wait, where the fuck are my robots went? What? It takes a long time to place them because the planet's really big and it's just kind of a weird situation. Mm. That's what I've noticed anyway. I need to place them, I need to come back round and... Oh no, these don't need, these don't get uh, robots. Oh yeah, they can't. That's right. Forgot about that. Yeah, this is a this is an actually you know awful task. It's probably one of the least well implemented mechanics in the game, placing orbital collectors. It's very tedious and yeah. To be honest, we the orbital collectors should really just be like a Dyson sphere that you just actually fire at gas giants. Yeah, that would be cool. That would make sense. Yo, more more mega structures mod maker. I know you're watching this because everyone on the planet watches this. Um, 
Yeah, should be a mega structure that you uh, you chuck on to gas giants. And that'd be cool. They are called gas giants, you know. <laughs> yeah, and what's uh, the... I don't know, giant mega structure, giant, you know. Okay, 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 that's fair. Fair. That makes sense. But yeah, this is this is actually awful. They they need a a way to do this better. Like, just just give me a fucking a Dyson vacuum <laughs> for the gas giants. So instead of me just flying and placing, I now need to fly and place and then wait on my robot. Yeah, and they're really slow and it's a big gas giant. Yeah, that's exactly the issue. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, I've only got four left in this current. I feel like this could be another one of those as well, where you need, on each planet, if you want a lot of hydrogen, you're just going to need to drop down a load of helper stations. Or even in stations that have an extra slot that aren't get taking stuff from off planet, just request hydrogen as well. Yeah, because apparently we still need hydrogen. We need infinite hydrogen. We need so much. Yeah, they, they really need to um to do something about that, because that's that's not nice. Warp speed! I do love just being able to warp around though instead of having to wait like the five minutes. Although it's nice to have some frames. Frames? Frames are good. So is is Earth bigger or smaller than the default? This planet? I think yeah. it is definitely bigger than the normal size. It's uh, planetary radius is 400. This is a very big planet. I don't know. I think that I feel like the default is only 100 or something. Like this is a very big planet. <laughs> oh, okay. It does make it annoying when uh, we're trying to use blueprints on planets that are different radiuses, but I still think that the immersion factor of having different sized stuff is. Oh yeah. Is uh, worth hella. it. Hella. Um. Yeah, we've got like we've got a ton in transit from Jupiter. So I'm gonna sit here and wait to see how to see if this is good enough to continually. Nope. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this and say bring in remote demand local supply for hydrogen. <clears throat> and if I have any more. Uh, remote demand local supply for hydrogen. I think it's a throughput issue now and not a mining issue. Hopefully. Hopefully it's a throughput issue and not a mining issue. Because I really don't want to go back there and place more of those fucking things. <laughs> Please no, don't make me. Oh, 
All right, so now to find out where Roomba placed this uh, titanium thing because it doesn't seem to be working. I don't know. You <laughs> think? I think it placed it somewhere. Probably. Okay, this here uses titanium. It uses titanium. Oh, you know what? I don't need to do that, do I? I can just click on this. Click on LSTM. Supply location. Interstellar station. There. Oh, it's literally right beside me. <laughs> Um, it looks like it's a titanium ingot issue. Get. I'm, go I'm trying to use these traffic monitors to see if this is like a good way to do things. Yeah, I think I think it it will be, but it might be one of those things that you we were supposed to do from the start of the playthrough, and if you didn't do it from the start, that it is not gonna. Oh, ah, you're gonna, yeah, it's gonna take a wee while to, uh, to set everything up. Or just, like, to, yeah, to get used to using the mechanic. I have a hard time adapting to new things. I like the rigid routine. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a reference. You get the reference? You don't, don't get it. You I'll don't get it. Head, no. It's uh, Michael Falk, the autistic reporter. And he's interviewing a guy who's going to prison, and he's really excited because the guy's like, "Yeah, you gotta form a queue and be in a line, and we gotta follow the rigid routine." And it's just like the rigid routine. Oh, you have to make a line. You have to make it straight. Can you stack your family? <laughs> it's great. <laughs> you need to see it. It's really funny. <laughs> okay, we need um, we need more smelting of titanium. Is what I found. Um. <clears throat> So I'm going to go to Mars. Because Mars is the smelting factory. Yeah, see, I did a thing. Did you remember that? No. Didn't think so. Were we doing stuff on Mars? The thing's flashing, yeah, but we I still have a couple minutes left. That two pause. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I set up Mars for smelting. How much smelting? I just... I think I just done iron. Just a wee bit? Just a wee bit. A wee bit of smelting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's set up... Uh, it's all set up for power as well, so. Yeah, we don't have you, enough. You uh, still not you've still not shot anything from Mercury. I know. I'm that's part of the reason that I'm trying to set this up. I'm trying to automate the process to make more vertical launch silos and get all the stuff done so that I can then just go and place down a bunch of rail guns and But uh, I don't even know that we've got rail guns automated properly. Like Oh, we've got no power. Why do we have no power? Definitely don't have enough requester slots, that's for sure. Yes, uh, we don't have any power because of something that has been triggering me and the comments. No match distributor. Good God, there are 1,200 ray receivers in this chest. That is too many ray receivers. But they're already made, so I guess whatever. What's a ray receiver? They're the things that receive rays from the Dyson Sphere. Is that the thing that I'm literally right beside? No, no, it's not. It's an energy exchanger. I love that the actual issue I was having was the one thing that I wanted to change about this as well. I want to delete that, and I want to delete belts and sorters, and just go bump. Mm. 
No, we're blinking. Yeah, so we need regular titanium ingot. And then the alloy stuff will get made and uh, it'll all be good. I'm adding more launchers. more launchers yeah the vertical launch silo oh, okay i've got them automated slowly we are lacking the quantum chips still we need to do a better quantum chip setup um, is that not just a titanium problem again <clears throat> probably par par partly really yeah partially related to it probably the titanium glass component Right, well, unfortunately, it looks like we've run out of time in this episode. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Studio. You've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.